There are several different Lauderton operating sequences. The first one is known as the warming up and underlighting. This is actually happening during the mashing process. Hot water from the hot liquor tank is sprayed into the Lauderton to warm up the vessel before the mash is pumped over. The purpose of underlighting is to remove the air from below the false bottom and to cover it with hot water which provides a cushion for grains and avoids clogging of the false bottom. Mash-off is the movement of the entire mash from the mash vessel to the Lauderton. This is carried out using a mash pump. Lauderton should be filled from the bottom to reduce aeration or oxygen pickup and husk damage. Mash settling is also known as the lauder rest. Lauder rest between 5 and 30 minutes is required for the formation of the grain filter bed on top of the false bottom. Wort is drained by gravity from underneath the false bottom into a small wort collection vessel called the grand, from which it is pumped over to the top of the grain bed. Grand is placed between the lauderton and the wort kettle and it serves as a flow buffer vessel. Vorlauf is a German word for recirculation or pumping back of cloudy wort. When a mesh is transferred to a lauderton, some particles of grain, mostly embryo and husk material, remain suspended in the wort. These materials can negatively affect the beer flavor. Brewers therefore continue to forlauf until the wort becomes clear. Only after that the wort is being pumped and collected into the kettle. It is important to be able to measure and compare the clarity of the first word samples between different brews. One method that can be used for the determination of solids or insoluble material in wort is by Imhoff cone analysis. Imhoff cone is a simple, clear, cone-shaped container. It holds one liter of sample and has the side of the container graduated in milliliters. Imhoff cone analysis is used to determine the amount of solids which would settle out of the known volume of first word sample in a defined period of time. Sparging can be described as a process of rinsing of the grain bed to extract as much of the sugars from the grain as possible. It should start before the top of the grain bed becomes visible. Typically about 1 to 1.5 times as much water is used for sparging as for mashing. Sparging is typically done by hot liquor at temperatures between 70 and 80 degrees Celsius. Hot liquor can be introduced at the same flow rate as the wort which is being removed from the Lauderton. Last runnings are traditionally regarded as the final and weakest worts flowing into the kettle following the sparging process. The collection of the last runnings should be terminated at specific gravities of 1005 or lower. Spend grain removal is done at the end of the runoff process after all the wort is collected in the brew kettle.